Hello, all my beauties. So, it's been a hot minute since I've actually done an empties video. And uh, this basket shows that it's been a long time since I've done an empties video. It's time to get this stuff out of here. So, without further ado, let's get into this. <clears throat> I'm going to start with things that are on top and they are both conditioning bottles this is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette I love this stuff this is a conditioner I obviously use more conditioner than I do shampoo because I only have one of the shampoo just one <laughs> That shampoo and conditioner is great for dark brown hair or when you've just color treated your hair, which I obviously need to color treat my hair again. The next item I have is my Murad Clarifying Cleanser. I love this and you can only get this in store, like get the pump in store. You can't order it online. So I do have two tubes of this to go through. This is my go-to cleanser. I've said it before. I also have, this is how long it's been. I have three, three Satin Care empties. Like, I don't shave my legs every day, okay, every second day, but still, three. It's been a lot. Next, I have a bubble bath, and this is the Avon Bubble Delight Sensitive Bath, bubble bath, and this one is kind of a chamomile smell, so it smells really relaxing when you're sitting in the bath, and it's sensitive so it doesn't hurt you. Next, I have an Equate hand lotion. This is supposed to be the alternative to the Vaseline Intensive Care hand lotion. Um, I actually think this is drying on my skin. <laughs> I really do because now that I've gone back to my Vaseline one, I'm not noticing my skin is as dry. So I think this might have been the culprit and so I won't buy the cheaper alternative. I'll stick to Vaseline. It comes on quite frequently and is my go-to hand lotion. Next I have in here a Bath & Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soap and I love this one and so did my husband and we went through it really quickly. I think we were just washing our hands so we could smell it. Mm, this is in Georgia Peach. We're using Peach Bellini right now because I bought them when they had their semi-annual sale or whatever. I'd never used the foaming hand soap and now I'm hooked. So I think next time I go to the city I might have to pick up some backups of it. I do have, I think, two backups but we go through it really quickly. And it's like different scents that we've gone through. So... I am going to pick some up. Next I have this uh, facial wipe, which I don't use as facial wipe. This is the Avon. I use it to wipe swatches off my hand. Nothing spectacular with it. Next I have a Smashbox. It was in uh, boxy charm as you can see I cut the top off it's a primer this is not my favorite primer from them but I do like it it's just not the one I would repurchase next I have in here a sad item this is raspberry beret from silk naturals it's a pigment and when I put this on my eyes my eyes itched and burned and so I'm pretty positive it's gone bad. So that's going in the trash. I did like it. But. Next I have an Exipal Spell. It's hand cream. 
you use it one day once a day and that's all you need uh, for dry chapped skin it says at night I've used it in the morning and I've gone all day with it and I don't find that I have to keep reapplying hand lotion this is empty and it is expensive and I can only find it at well Canada so I have to order more but I do have one in my purse right now next I have the Ola Hendrickson transformation gel this is just a deluxe I wouldn't purchase a full size of this I do have another deluxe size it's in my sample bin that I probably end up pulling soon next I have another facial cleanser this is the Mary Kay clear proof if you have acne problems this is a good 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 cleanser um, problem with Mary Kay again you have to have a wrap as you can see I have like squeezed this to nothing to get every last drop out of it I do like it and I kind of like alternating it with my new wrap so I may have to break down and call a wrap what can you do next is a declutter this is a unique pencil that is so dry it swatches good on your hand but if you put it on your eyes it like tugs at them so I'm getting rid of it next is a lip gloss that is finished this is a Mary K or Avon and this is an peach envy or palest peach I think it's peach envy though it's peach something pale peach liked it but I think it was starting to go bad by the end because it had discolored <laughs> it was a weird color so I have finished it though I pulled the stopper out of it and everything to get as much as I possibly could out of it I just could not get to the bottom of it and I can't get up around here because of the lip so that's gone Next I have uh, Milk to Foam Coconut Milk Pure Mild Cleanser. I put this into my Project Pan Rolling Roulette, but it made me break out. I was too oily with it because it is a moisturizing cleanser. But I ended up using it to clean my brushes and my sponges and it worked fabulous for that. So. I wouldn't repurchase it for that because I'm pretty sure it's probably expensive but I did like it for cleansing next I have two two foundations and I'm they're brand new I'm uh, not going to throw them out I'm going to declutter them I am going to give them to my daughter because they do not work on my skin. They, my skin, I wanted to scratch it off my face. So, and it turned kind of into a bad thing. It clung to dry patches I didn't know I had. And, uh, yeah, again, the struggle continues to find an Avon foundation I can use and I was really hoping on that next is a sheet mask that I got in I think BoxyCharm it might have been Ipsy but I think it was BoxyCharm and this is the hashtag beauty secret and it's a pomegranate and hydraulic hyaluronic acid one and it's to moisturize and help the skin appear smooth and firm and I enjoyed this first sheet mask ever and I think what I liked about it was that after you take it off you rinse off the serum I don't like that sticky feel I really don't I don't like that stickiness on my face so I like this and I would consider repurchasing from these Next I have a few mascaras, three of them are small ones and one of them is a uh, full size. This is the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. 
uh, it's an okay mascara. I won't ever repurchase this again. It is done. I've had it open for a few months and it's drying and flaking. So I got that out of there. Next is the Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. Did not like, would not purchase a full size. And obviously there was something that was leaking in here because this stuff is sticky. Next is uh, Doucet Max Lash Volumizing Mascara. It was okay, but I would not repurchase. <clears throat> this is a Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara. Love this mascara. And I have full size. I love like Tarte is my go-to. Tarte has my heart. It just I used it all up. It's dry now. It won't work. So it's gone. Next I have in here. This is the oddest stuff ever. This is Peak Black Primer, and you're supposed to use it for your eyes. It's like super dry, and then when you put it on, it shows black. And I don't know if it's just because it's such a small sample or what, but it did not work for me. It does not do Maybe if you were a woman of color and you had really black eyelids, you'd have to have really black eyelids because it did show up like black, like, and I don't know how that can be used as a primer. I don't care. It's like, I don't care what skin color. I don't know that it would work. Maybe if you were like really, really, really dark skinned, maybe, but not for me. And it was dry, and I think that's just because it was a sample. Like, I think that's why the product's dry, but it's because it's a sample. Next is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. And I do a review on Tarte and being my favorite brand. And I actually said that I wanted to get this to try this and then it was in my ipsy and I was so happy it was in my ipsy and I'm glad it was in my ipsy and I didn't waste money buying it because this broke me out it did not like my skin at all unfortunately I did use up the entire thing but I did yeah I then I spent a week trying to get my skin back to normal for me Next items are things were samples or were in my projects. This is a Bifacil from Lancome. Eye makeup remover does not remove. Lancome Hypnose Drama with Cell Booster Primer underneath. It does not, it just smudges it. Works on regular mascara, but not on those. This was a sample size of the Hula Benefit Do the Hula. It's a cream product, and I actually wrote on this card, this is really orange on my skin. I actually ended up washing it off because it was like instantly orange. Horrible. This is the Benefit Give Me Brow Gel, and it, it I couldn't use it. <clears throat> it was dried out before I even opened up the packaging, so I can't give you a definitive on if that's any good. Next, I have three sample packs of my John Frieda shampoo and the Brilliant Brunette. I would not, if I had tried that before I bought my Brilliant Brunette shampoo and conditioner, I probably wouldn't have bought them. It wasn't the same as those. It just wasn't. Next, I have a First Aid Beauty dip, Deep Cleanser with red clay. I'm starting to lose my voice. This is like, I don't know, sixth video or something today, and I'm trying to get them all done. <laughs> this is with red clay. I do have a tube of this that I really enjoy, and I did purchase the tube based on a sample packet that I had used. Next I have 
could have swore I saw somebody walk by my window, but now there's nobody walking by the other window, so okay, it must have been a bird. A sample size of the Glam Glow <clears throat> mask, and it is the Super Mud. Yes, yeah, Super Mud Clearing Mud treatment. I do have a full size of this one, and I do love it, which is funny because I said I'd never buy a Glam Glow mask, and then I tried a sample, and I went, I really like this. Next, I have a couple sample size fragrances. One is Black Opium by YSL. I actually love this. I used it up. It was in my samples use up, and I actually own a full size of it, so obviously I like it. It's not a scent I would normally buy though. It's weird. I actually love it on me and I get like lots of compliments when I'm wearing it. The next is a sample size of Clean Ultimate and I used that one up. It was in my Project Pan Rolling Roulette and it says get clean and smell good and I used it after my showers is exactly when I used it after my showers or baths right before going to bed and it does it smells clean and fresh but it's not a type of fragrance I'd wear on a daily basis and I have a sampler pack <coughs> of the Lee Swatier Rouge Intense Supreme lipsticks I used up the one fully and the other one was to it the red is not the right color for me it's red it's just not the right color for me and it was in Suzanne but I used up Caroline which is a purple and it was beautiful and the other one is Clara and this one just felt really really dry like it pilled almost when I was putting it on so I think that it might have dried out a bit in the package I didn't have it opened it when I opened it, it was already dried out. So, um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one even, even though it's an okay color. It's just not my type of nude. But I would consider purchasing Caroline. I really liked Caroline. And it's a perfect fall color. Next, I have... A lip liner that is completely gone. This is a Mary Kay lip liner in Shy Blush. I believe it's called. And I did use this up. This was in my Project Pan Rolling Roulette. And it's gone. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I kind of like the Milani one. I really like the Milani one. And I really like Colourpop ones. So... Next is a fresh Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. I used it up. It's just a sampler. I would not purchase full size of this because this is too moisturizing <laughs> for my combo skin. I've decided I've got combo skin. I get oily and the upside down tea. My forehead is dry <laughs> and this is dry, but my nose gets a little bit oily, but my chin gets really oily. And yeah, it's just too moisturizing for that. <laughs> and my last item is my Lancome Sil Booster. And it is just a sample size of this. And it is just, it's gone. It's done. Um, this is like probably my favorite product. I love this product underneath. The mascara it doesn't matter what mascara especially under Lancome Hypnose Booster yeah beautiful so that's all of my trash I hope I didn't bore you with the details there wasn't much to be detailed um, there's a few products I would repurchase and uh, some that I would not <laughs> obviously some of them just were not for me but I wouldn't say in any case that any of them were like horrible, horrible, you shouldn't use those. So that's everything. Much love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.